Well, this is very nice, but there's no opal here, so let's get out of here and see if we can find some opal on these South Australian opal fields. See the leading edge of the wing there on the highway? That's how fast we'd be going if we were on the ground. Oh, so I'm back down here on Dead Ross Gully. I thought I'd come and have a look. Drilling some holes out in the spot where an old mate found opal years ago, but no joy. Chucked a hole in there, nothing, nothing. No indication of anything here, but this, this is interesting. Big chunks of material and up in the back of the hole. Big chunks, it's only potch so far. But it's still quite interesting because you see how there's like a, a pinkish, like a tinge and it changes colour. The way that material is changing colour, it can change very quickly and have nice bars in it. But it didn't change. And uh, so I'm off to Donna's Rush. It's one of my favourite views looking out over the old 14, 15 mile. Now that's an oval field. Flocks of sheep and goats and kangaroos and all jumping around at the same time with wedge-tailed eagles trying to get a feed. So here we are. We've just come down this ramp. Somebody's drilled some trace and they've decided it's shallow enough just to put a shallow excavator cut in here and then start with a tunnel machine at about 15 foot. Ooh. Redbacks, the guardians of the opals. Zzzz. See, there's material. It's been exposed by the water. It's just sitting here in the floor. So I'm hoping there's a bit of color in it. Yeah, just, oh my goodness, that's fat material. I don't know if there's any color. I've seen it. I saw a little speck of color so far, but not much else. That looks pretty podgy. Broken in the new Makita jack pick. Works pretty well so far. Only potch then. Well, it was all potch with a few tiny flecks of colour. So, chase it for about four foot. Boo! Well, that was a dud. So we're heading down here. Oh, it's just down here, uh, Donna's Rush, where we found a pipe earlier on over in, there's a, there's a slide over here and a level falling off. And about a year or so ago, we found a beautiful pipe over here. Not much else running. So I thought maybe they've missed something. Didn't check properly. And I thought I'll just jack pick up in this corner because it's a bit hard just to find stuff with a pick if it's not immediately there. And I just started knocking this stuff off and up in there you can see there's like that chocolatey block that plate that's solid opal so i had a quick look down here thinking what i wonder if it's got any color uh, <laughs> it's looking pretty promising if you can see see that's got red inside there so maybe oh maybe there's a little pocket in here looking pretty happy so far it's not incredibly good color but it's big size of some of these pieces see the chocolate coated the the uh, ferrous ironstone staining that comes down during the weathering it's often an indicator of some usually it means it's a bit shallower but I just love chocolate coated stuff the opal never looks as good as it does when it's coming out of the ground and it's chocolate coated like this that's why it's easy to miss it look at that it's that's that's opal of some description can't really see anything on the outside of it. Oh, I want to, I want to eat it. Oh, I can see a bit of colour. Oh boy. Please keep going. That is the opal miner's prayer. Please keep going. Because that's a fat material. That's a big chunk. So I just had a scratch, a scrub at the face of it. And that's, that's, it's got colour. It's not, you know, it's not super tops, but it's nice red gray forming in a vertical. It'll probably slice some nice bits. Not complaining. First color I've seen for a couple of days scratching around. I've done a fair bit of digging, so whoo, stoked. Got my energy back. <laughs> I've been jack picking along here in this beautiful level on 
Donna's Rush, and I'm really excited. This is just Matrix, but it's a thick, see that ledge is a thick matrix, like a, a vertical. So this ground is really, looks like it could be winding up. So there's like a wall there, and there's all these bits of trace all around it, just down here, right down low. Just then the color I just got from there, there's this. So it's not, whoop, whoop, gone forever, no. It's, uh, it's not like a huge opal or anything, but it's beautiful. Look at that color in there, it's amazing color. I'm getting excited, this could make something out of control. Here I've just found a four bellamite pipe. You can see at the end here there's colour running along. I've already taken this bit out because I know it's colour, but there, that bit is still sitting in the ground. So it's got gem colour in it. I've come out in a few bits, but still opal. I found that pipe over there and I was disappointed all this level all through here nothing but a scrappy trace but that vertical has come along here and now it seems to have been maybe hopefully changing its mind as if it had a mind but anyway let's see oh i'm gonna lose a piece let's have it put it down over here size of this stuff but whether there's any money in it that's the question oh my goodness can't even see anything in it now I'm sure there was some colour in it I'll clean it up a bit uh, yeah I knew there was some colour in it somewhere but anyway it's not amazing but it's got it's got colour focus Pretty much just grey, but or white base. It's uh, not not incredibly strong colour, but decent sized pieces. Chasing chumpy level with the Makita. Gotta love it. Oh, well, it's late in the day, and um, I've just come down this mine. This is right where I found uh, a beautiful pipe. And uh, <clears throat> I've come down to check this claim. I'm just thinking this claim's holding some kind of a secret and there's a dangerous bit of roof here. You can see the slippery back is all cracking and falling in and the pillars will get crushed, but it's just because when it was raining. And there was a bit of trace up in the high level. So I thought I'd give it a bit of a drill and it's, it's getting so late that I'm just getting so tired as well, but not just that, but uh, running out of fuel. Uh, so I don't really want to climb the ladder. So I drilled some holes up in here and hit a little pocket or something just running up high just up in that corner so I've quickly knocked it all down as fast as I can because I haven't really got time to get slowly like I've been doing with all the rubbishy bits all day but this is the kind of stuff that's in the dirt down here so I'm going to scoop it up as fast as I can and get out of here top of this dump I can ring the Outback Bar and Grill 45 k's away and order a Kipro special which is probably the best pizza on earth. Next day chase this trace out for about six feet for next to nothing. Down here on Donna's Rush you can see all the bottom level was worked down there and I came up into this shaft here and found a bit of trace running around the drives here up in the top level which is about five foot above and this was all untouched so I've dropped all this with the jack pick made a fair old mess and there's nothing up here but these little verticals are running along the side and just in this nice bit of ground through here all right so it looks like this may possibly want to keep going so I'm just gonna have a look try not to drop it on the ground yeah. Treachery. Come on, big reveal, let's go. Oh, and it's still going a bit, but 
It's not thick. Oh, opal. Goodness me. This is the pocket back in the workshop after being cleaned up. Uh, it was a lot of work for a little bit of opal, but I reckon it was still worth it. I've just come across this big shell in situ. Looking pretty amazing. Big piece, but a big muscle. Uh, there is some color up here in the top, so I'm hoping it's got something in it. Oh, get a jack pick, I said, it'll be great, I said. Oh, I probably wouldn't have found it without it, but oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, open on the dirt, nice fat skins. Crystal. I really love Donald's Rush, it's just such a beautiful place and the Brumbies and the wildlife out there and the opal when you find it is absolutely beautiful but it's a really hard place to get any decent amounts of opal without being on a big slide so I think I'll head to Olympic tomorrow. So day four, hairy old claims on Olympic it is. Out on a, just out on an old claim on Olympic that I checked with a mate years ago and we found some beautiful colour down here. But it's a bit challenging because there's yawning holes here. But I'm going to attempt it and see if I can launch from the tray of the ute. So it should be fun. I got down here and this is what those conical shafts look like. Uh, the inverse at the bottom, which means they're full. I managed to squeeze through one on the other side, but that's nearly all of the... Claims on Olympic, just bogged in, almost impossible to get down because they just block like that. But I got down here and I've already got some lovely bits of colour, so pretty happy. Here we go again. Teetering on the brink. It's another belt out dangerous shaft, but going in off the uh, tailgate turned out to be a good idea. And uh, I've really been looking forward to going down this claim for many years now, so see how we go. I came down an Olympic, and it looks like this corner has just collapsed by itself, so I've got to take it very easy. It's quite dangerous in Olympic, and up here is this material. I had a quick look at some of it, and there's a bit of colour. And then down here on the ground, it's everywhere, and I've already dug up a couple hundred dollars of beautiful stuff, so let's see if I can get some out and get a photo. I'm especially excited because look at this. Material's running everywhere, and it's making little pockets all through this stuff. Oh, so I'm up here dropping this roof, and I'm pretty excited to say there's a bit of material on the roof here. And um, if you give you an idea of the size, it's decent. Oh, 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 oh. What's on that side? still coming all over the place on this reef they're big chunks verticals they've all got bits of color all the way through them some of them are coming chunky and this is looking really exciting up in here i just gotta show you something beautiful olympic red and crystal running and just back here is the last place the mic the miner put his jack pick or his pick Maybe it looks like a jack pick to me. He dropped this roof. And over here is the opal because the opal's running down diagonally that way. And he didn't know the next slip was coming in, so he's just tumbling along here, making a huge ground, and the opal's all up in that side. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, finding beautiful opal doesn't get better than this, where that is colour and that is colour. That's all cuttable opal, incredible. Um, 
it's not all top color but it runs from between you know five thousand an ounce back to potch so and the best part is that this is where it this is where it's forming the whole toe has been completely taken out for me and i just have to stand here and pick it down well, i better document this because i think this is probably probably some of the best opal i've ever dug out in my life whoops and i'm dropping it now oh and it still goes big slabs oh see it's all frosty you can't see but watch this i'll lick it oh yep yeah, i think that's pretty much <laughs> that's up there with the best ever oh, 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 oh my goodness <laughs> Candy, beautiful candy colors, big pieces. <laughs> Here we go. It's too much material to take back to Adelaide, so try and get it cleaned up a bit. A bit of a Now a cement mixer.